icebergs on record has broken away from Antarctica. Scientists say that one trillion ton iceberg uh, carved uh, away from the uh, Larsen Sea ice shelf in Antarct Antarctica in the past two days, measuring, get this, 5,800 square kilometers. The iceberg is roughly the size of the Indian Ocean island of Bali and four times the size of the city of London. Scientists have been monitoring the progress of the rift for the past few months. Lead investigator Adrian Luckman says that the iceberg is likely to break into fragments with some pieces of ice remaining in the area for decades. Other pieces may actually drift north into warmer waters and the ice will add to risks for cruise ships visiting from South America. In 2009, more than 150 passengers and crew were evacuated after the MTV Explorer sank after striking an iceberg off the Antarctica Peninsula. Now, our meteorologist, Sitle Kunene, joins us now in the studio to talk a little bit more about this. This is fascinating, and I suppose that, you know, for science geeks like you, it's exciting to see some event like this happen. But as a layperson, I hear that uh, an iceberg the four times the size of London has broken away. Should I be scared? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, you shouldn't be scared. Uh. Well, the main thing that uh, people are worried about mm. is uh, climate change. Everything has been attributed to climate change. Um, but we shouldn't be worried mm. as South Africans as yet, no. So, th is, is, uh, is it because the um, planet is getting warmer that these things are starting to melt away and break away? Or wh what is the story? <laughs> well... It's, it's, it's part yeah. that, it's part yeah. that the climate is getting warmer. Well, you can imagine um, the iceberg or the ice shelf that uh, broke away to give birth to the iceberg is sitting on, wa on water. Right. The water is getting warmer by about uh, two to three degrees, uh, but very few yeah. degrees in uh, increase. But then also the air is also getting warmer. So you've got uh, melting from underneath and then you have melting from at the top and then you get thinning of the iceberg as itself. So it thins and then it gets, it's very easy for it right. to just break off just like that. So what does this mean for the Antarctic architecture? We, we spoke there just in the introduction about vessels now being in danger. Does it change the map com completely? I'll tell you, it does change yeah. one map. It changes yeah. the map of uh, Antarctica itself. Yeah. It's going to have to be redrawn because it's a large piece that's broken off. That's the first one. The second yeah. one, yes, it depending on where it goes. If it uh, breaks apart into smaller pieces, then definitely uh, shipping vessels will have to know where, it, uh, where the smaller pieces are. But then the, the most uh, eminent threat to this uh, iceberg is if it drifts off as a large, as a piece, as a large piece as it is, then that might be a very, very uh, big threat. But, but given its size, that would take quite a bit of time though, wouldn't it? Yes. Some icebergs are known to stay in the same position for 20 years. Wow. Well, wow. yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, again, you know, I'm fascinated just by what is happening. And, and, I, and I suppose we'll continue to see these kinds of things as this is part of nature. But why, why won't we see sea levels rise, for example? Okay, yes, yeah. mm. with this particular one, we're not going to see sea levels rise. That's how I said uh, South yeah. Africans need not worry. That's because um, this iceberg, it's, it was part of a, an ice shelf. So it was re already counted as the sea levels, as we've been calculating right. where the sea right. levels are. So as it breaks off, it's not adding to the sea level itself. But what it's doing is that it's opening behind it a space for other icebergs to flow into the ocean. It's oh, opening okay. for ice shelf to flow into the ocean. Now we're getting more water, which was on glaciers, melting or just flowing into the ocean, then that will cause sea levels to rise. Was this predicted? Was this something that we knew was going, was going to happen? Scientists have been monitoring it uh, since 2010 because um, there were a couple of cracks, but they all stopped at the same position. So you can imagine about 10 or mm. 8 cracks. Mm. We don't know which one is going to break through and how far it's going to go through. And then until recently, from 2010, they've been slowly growing and just slowly cracking just a little bit, but nothing major. Until recently, mm -hmm. in February, that's when it started growing at a very, very rapid um, pace. That's when we started monitoring and what's happening, started mm -hmm. issuing satellites to go and see what exactly is happening. NASA has been monitoring it quite uh, closely. And within a, a very short space, it cracked and it opened the whole crack and then 
actually broke off. Mm. But currently, as we speak, it's still sitting at that very same position. It's just that it's loose. It's, it's loose from the whole ice shelf. All right. I don't know if it's possible for you to give us an indication. So we're seeing this, uh, this uh, iceberg that's uh, broken off. Uh, it's massive. As you said, the, the map is going to be redrawn. But can you give us a sense of size compared to the rest of the an Antarctic Circle? What percentage is it? Is it less than 5%, less than 2 Is it? Okay, well, of, of, the, of Antarctica, yeah, it's yeah. a very small percentage. Yeah. I'm not sure how much. Yeah. But of the ice shelf itself, I'll yeah. give you an example. There was Larsen A, Larsen yeah. B, Larsen C. This is right. the third one. Of this third one, this part that broke off is actually 12% of this third um, ice shelf. So it's a big part of the ice shelf that wow. broke off. So that's why the actual map has to be redrawn. redrawn. Yes. All right. So, and then finally, um, North Pole. Is there anything that we need to keep an eye on there? Well, there <laughs> it's <laughs> continually <laughs> melting, and the yeah. Americans are complaining that as it melts, uh, we get colder air. They get yeah. colder air flowing in from Antarctica and making their winters even worse. It chilling, a biting, biting cold in those areas. But in Antarctica, it's yeah. still melting. Yeah. I guess the general theme of uh, what, this mes what the, the message that we should get yeah. is that we thought that Antarctica is melting. We thought that there is global warming, but it's actually happening twice as fast as we thought it is. So as scientists, wow. we actually are alarmed by this. That we thought that it's melting. We've been talking about it, yeah. global warming, climate change, but it's actually happening twice as fast as we had thought it's happening. My goodness. Okay, yeah. so lots to keep our eye on, and uh, climate change certainly something uh, that's affecting many, many things, and we'll see more of these kinds of events going forward, I'm sure. Well, yeah. if we don't do anything about it, or so if we do do something about yeah. it, we do know that uh, right now it's uh, a little too late, but we do need to yeah. do something. So definitely more of these things are bound to happen in the future. Sutle, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed uh, for your insights. There we go, Sutle Kunene, one of our meteorologists, uh, speaking to us about uh, this iceberg, four times the size of London that's uh, broken off one of the shelves in the Antarctic. Fascinating. Okay.